Let's take a look at the remote interface. First, we have two main joysticks to control the Bebop. A return home button, a takeoff landing button, emergency button, return and home button, a rec button, an even virtual mouse to navigate through Android interface, and a stick to shoot and orientate the camera. To take off, press the takeoff landing button. In order to make the drone rise, push the joystick on the left-hand side upwards. To make it go back down, pull the joystick downwards. To make it pivot, move the left joystick towards the right or the left. To make the Bebop drone move forwards, push the joystick on the right-hand side upwards. To make it go backwards, pull the joystick downwards. Do the same thing to make your drone glide to the left or to the right. Equipped with an amplified Wi-Fi 36 dBm radio with four antennas, the Parrot Sky Controller extends the Wi-Fi range up to two kilometers. Be sure to always steer the antenna towards the Parrot Bebop drone. Return Home. This function allows you to make your drone automatically go back to the spot from where it took off. To activate it, simply press on the Return Home button and let the Bebop do the rest. During this period, it is still possible to control the drone. If need be, press on the button icon again to disenable automatic pilot.